I'm going to demonstrate how to use some of these transform tools. So to do that, I'm going to start with one of FlashCut's pre-designed shapes. I'm going to select one of these brackets and then click the green check mark. And to start, I'm going to use the cut tool. So what the cut tool basically does is take a single entity and divide it into two entities. So you'll see that this full line segment is highlighted and then I'll click down and now it's split into two. And I can do that for this arc up here as well. I'll divide it into two line segments. So I can press the green check when I'm done using the cut tool and now you see that I can move these smaller entities that have been separated from the original object. So now I'm actually going to undo my last movement so that I can get my object back to its original shape. And I'm going to group this whole object together even though I'm undoing the actions I just took with my cut tool because now when I cut or move or rotate this object, it's the entire object that's being affected instead of individual segments. When using these tools, there's two ways to select them. You can either select the object first and then the tool like I just did, or you can select the tool you want to use and you'll be prompted in the message screen on the right and also on the bottom of the document to select and then right click to confirm your selection. So what I'm going to do here with my copy tool is I'm going to select a reference or anchor point in my object and then I can move my mouse around and click down where I want to set the copy of this object. And I can keep going until I don't want to make any more stamps. So to exit out of this I can either press escape or I can press the green check mark. So now I'm actually going to use the delete tool to get rid of some of these copies. So again I can either select the object first or the tool first and I'll be prompted to click and then right click to confirm my selection. So when I'm done using the delete tool I'll press the green check mark. Now it's always an option when designing in FlashCut to click and select your object and drag your mouse around to move it. However, if you're looking for a more precise movement, there actually is a move tool in our transform tab. So I'll click on my move tool and I can use it in one of two ways. I can either select an anchor point like I'm doing here and then move my mouse around until I've reached my desired location. Or I can select my move tool and then change my X and Y offset or my distance or my angle. And once I've changed my parameters to my desired location, I can press the green check mark. Moving on to my rotate tool, I'll select my tool and I'm prompted again on either the right side of the screen or the bottom of the screen to select and right click to confirm my object. Now I can use two different methods to rotate my object. I can use my three point tool, which allows me to select a center point, a source point nearby, and then my third point is my target point for the angle of rotation. So once I have that third point, I'll click down. The other way I can rotate is using my point and angle feature, which allows me to select a center of rotation point and then go ahead and change the rotation angle in my parameters. And once I've reached my desired rotation, I can press the green check mark. So now I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this object so I can demonstrate the mirror tool. So I'll select it and then press my delete tool. I'll select my mirror tool from the transform tab and I'll be prompted to select and confirm my object below or on the right side of the screen. So I'll select my object, confirm, and then I'm going to go ahead and check the copy object box because that indicates that I want to keep my original object as well as the mirrored object. So I'm prompted on the bottom of the screen to select a starting point because really what we're doing here is creating a mirror line. So this blue dotted line is the line that my original object is being mirrored over. So I selected my starting point, and then I'll select a second point to be my ending point. And now you see that my object is mirrored across that dotted line I just created. So once I'm happy with my mirrored object, I'll press the green check mark. And I can go ahead and take my completed design and transfer it over to my cam mode, where my toolpath of my design is generated, and then over to CNC mode where my G-code will be created and my design is ready to be cut out.